Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Chameleon Craft server. Look at this thing! Oh my, I, ah, oh, it's so cool. I love it. I'm literally in love with this place. This is the slime farm. It is finished. All the layers are done. This thing took me for ages. How many layers? I don't actually know how many layers there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers. Um, and the slimes just constantly spawn. Literally, it's, this is, oh. I don't know how to get over this. This is probably one of my most favourite farms I've ever built. This first slime farm I've ever built, actually. But today, what we're going to do is hopefully clean this place up a little bit. Probably not too much, but we're mainly going to be focusing on a little item elevator that's going to go up where this ladder is. Um, and we're going to do that with using a glass item elevator. So we're going to use uh, dark green glass, which is you know, fits with the... Um, Bits with the theme, and I've never done one of these before, so I thought I'd start off by doing one of these uh, on camera. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with the style yet. I, I have absolutely no idea. Sorry about that long pause. There. I have no idea what I'm going to do with the style yet. Um, for the roof, I don't know. I don't know if I should keep it like that or actually smooth it off. I think I should smooth it off because the whole thing is pretty much smoothed off. So, probably just bring it up to that level there where all that stuff is. Um, and then just make it flat, or maybe do something cool the ceiling again with the floor as well. I don't know what I'm going to do, but anyway, let's uh, let's get on with doing the redstone. All right, so this is uh, this is the little killing chamber for the slimes. Uh, this is literally just below what you saw. They, it's a drowning trap. I was going to do a uh, cactus trap where you put cactuses all around the side. It's the, it's the quickest way of killing them, but there's not really much point in doing that uh, when I can do this and it's as efficient. Well, not as efficient, but it's a bit less efficient. I'm always in the area, so it's also going to be spawning slimes, and I don't want to waste too much iron on hoppers. So I think this is the best uh, best kind of thing I can do. Full of slimes, got loads. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take a hopper, and we're going to go out of... I actually have a hopper on me. We're going to go out of that chest. Um, that chest kind of, is kind of going to be like a buffer chest. Uh, so we're going to go out of the chest, and then we're going to go into a dispenser that has got a little clock on it. And then what's that? Gonna, and then that's going to dispense it into some water, which is going to fire it into a little item elevator. Now I've never done this before. I'm not sure if you actually 100% need ice or not. I think you do. So that's something we're going to have to do. Uh, I do have a salt touch pickaxe. That's fine. We'll have to do that at a later date. Uh, but let's see. So we're going to go under here first, I think. And then we're going to. Yeah, actually, this is quite cool. If we do this, we put the dispense there, facing up can do that which I can't at that angle like this then face that into it and then we've got to set up a clock somehow uh, from this so this uh, hollow out a bit of the area ooh, 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 ooh. so we can do we can put redstone comparator come out of that do we have actually oh wow everything's feeding into it ah how do I uh, stop okay there we go boom redstone uh, Okay, so then we do, I think we have to put a repeater, and then go back round like that. Yes, there we go, okay, cool, cool. And then we're going to go, god, how do we do this? Is it, because I want to pack, I don't, I'm trying, I'm trying to be compact, but to be quite honest, someone's going to see it, so I'm just going to do a really stupid loop like this. So that should do it. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, ah, stop. We can get all this here. Hopefully, this is that should not interfere with that. I mean, I don't think you can bud power or do anything bud to uh, hoppers. That should be all right. Uh, and now we need to. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna make some stone bricks so then I don't get confused when I'm breaking blocks and break anything with redstone because that'd be quite bad. Um, I don't really wanna. I don't wanna send stuff through to that yet. Because it'll just dispense everywhere. I'll tell you what. I'll break this for the time being. And I'll put that back in there. And we'll do that later. We'll do that at a later date. Um, and then we're going to go like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Now, actually, I, I, okay, I could check to see if this actually does work without ice. I doubt it does. Because every every um, design I've seen uses, um, uses ice. So this will be a little experiment. So... Oh, no, that's uh, glass has to go there. I think this is how you do it. Because, yeah, use glass because it doesn't connect. And then, let's see. 
So the idea of this little corner thing as well is it knocks it against the wall. So no matter what angle you're at. Oh, that might not work. Hmm. Okay, let's quickly see as if it does actually do anything if I throw it up against the wall. Oh, it's not going to do it, is it? Because, yeah, it's not got speed. So you do have to actually use ice then. All right, so we're going to have to go get ice at some point. Um, we just sort of sweat out this little corner bit then. This should be all right. Um, you know what? That might actually work with ice. Possibly, if I have ice, it will throw it against the corner. Or do you need more of a freaking run up? I think you need more of like a... Okay, so we're going to actually do a full on loop here. Uh, which we can't do because of that. Alright, I'm just going to quickly do some brainstorming and I'll get back to you when I'm uh, when I'm done. Okay, so according to uh, Mist, the uh, Minecraft map uh, program, it says there is a uh, an ice um, an ice biome over in this direction, uh, which I have I've actually I've got no clue whether or not it's over here or not because I've never actually ventured over in that direction. Um, hopefully, it's uh, actually no, it wouldn't be. I think I don't know what the um the actual a logo is or how how a mist displays um, ice spike biomes, but I'm hoping it's one of them. If it's because I know they're extremely rare, and the chances of uh, that actually being an ice spike biome, it's very very rare. And so I can get some packed ice because I don't think you can actually craft packed ice. So if we if we use normal ice, that's fine. We're just gonna have to make sure there's no uh, uh, no high light levels in the area. And uh, I actually borrowed some cactus from your farm the other day. Sorry about that. Um, Hopefully in this area. Oh, damn it! I thought that was a freaking water temple. No, is this one of them weird gravel kind of like oceans? We have no. Oh, hello, Mr. Squid. Squid everywhere. I think I think I'm loading new chunks. Okay, I'll just wait until I find the actual ice biome and I'll get back to you. Hey, hey, hey I've spotted the ice biome, which is in a desert. What? That's freaking weird. I got this ice over here. That is odd. Okay, yeah, so it's not an ice fight. Well, I've always thought that well, in one of the latest updates from Minecraft, they tried to make like um, transitions between biomes better. Oh, is that a beach? Oh, it's like an icy beach. Uh, that's... Okay, well done, Minecraft. Just uh, making the impossible possible. Anyway, so this is a nice bit of ice, so we don't need much. Oh, my God. Yes, efficiency five. Oh, yeah. Oh, am I going to ruin this? I think I'm going to ruin this. Oh, well, no one's going to be over here. Do -do -ba -do. Nice, so 28 ice. I think that's alright. Yeah, okay. Actually, I'll take a bit more and then just in case we actually use ice in the future. And then I'll be back and I'll show you my progress. Woo! I don't know what I'm on today. I am, I, I am freaking in a weird mood. Alright, so screw the little um, I'll meet you when I'm done kind of thing. Here's the house. Oh, hello. Hi. We've got a guest. <laughs> hello, well, hello there. So yeah, Ooh, what are you doing? You get in my couch. What are you freaking doing, Mr. Koala man? Hello, Mr. Koala. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sir, I swear to God, if you're stealing my carrots again, Mr. Koala, I will be very grateful because I like to share nothing. Winky face. Oh anyway, yeah, so this is uh the house. I freaking made a roof to it, and wow, I I love it, absolutely love it. Only problem is I want to fill the whole thing with glass, uh, but then that might look, look look a bit weird from the inside because of um, I can't really see it from that angle. Though, oh yeah, you can. Those two little um, andesite blocks that are in the board, um, in the door support beam, and I should, yeah yeah I'm definitely putting one in. Definitely. <laughs> First thing he came over and was like, yes, full table right here. Yeah, so that's uh, my base. I'm going to work on that a bit more off camera and then probably the episode after this will actually move in. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, actually get on with this, <laughs> making this freaking slime block elevator. Okie dokie. So, I fiddled around the water and apparently this kind of design, th oh my god, this little design here, or the uh, original water stream work, does, uh, thing actually does work with ice apparently. So let's uh, quickly show you a test by chucking in... Ah, okay. Oh, well. I actually picked them up there. I'll throw in 31 stone brick. Then jump up and you'll see. I believe it does work. Which is awesome. So all it needs apparently is literally... Look, it's barely even on that corner block there. I mean, it's on it for like... 
literally just that section. Oh, hang on, I can't really show that section there. Only on it for that bit, and it pushes it against the wall, and it, it's worked pretty much all the time. I don't think there's any items actually stuck down there. Nope, so that's pretty much it done. All I need to do is now take this all the way up to the surface, um, which is cool. Look at that, I think all the items got to the top. And that does look really cool as well. So that will be like full of slime blocks going all the way up. And then that will probably feed into my base somewhere. I'll just have like loads of chests filled with slime blocks. Don't know where I'm going to have the ladder though. Absolutely no idea. Probably have like... Actually, where I've got my spiral staircase in my house. I could lead that down to um, kind of a room. And then with that have a kind of a doorway coming down maybe into here. And have an entranceway maybe, I don't know, in that wall or something. It would have to be even though. So that's the only issue. I uh, don't know what, what I'd do about that. Um, okay, we'll just have to sit. Or put a portal down there. I could possibly put a portal down here, but that might mess it up. I don't know. Yeah, we might put a portal down here. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty, pretty much this done. Um, so I'm going to finish this off, and I'll see you in a minute. <sighs> so that clip that you just saw was recorded on the 10th of April. It is currently... <laughs> the 5th of May right now as of recording this clip I haven't recorded since then um that was a long way away. long lot that was a long long time ago I, I I got uh very busy very quickly with college work and things like that but I finished off the slime farm because I would come on the server every now and again and finish it off and most recently well when was it yesterday I think I actually finished off the slime farm completely so here it is, I believe. In the last clip, I was sorting out stuff for the item elevator, and I said something like, I'd get it finished. I've done more than that. I have... I'll just show you. So now we've got a minecart elevator to get us up and down. We've got the item elevator that comes up. Here you go. You can see it in progress. In progress. In what? Uh, oh, in action. The slime, block, slime ball's coming up. Into this chest. That was a lot, a lot more full. That was about to here, but I'll uh, show you what I've done. Uh, so we've got a drop-down section here, which is much more easy to get down. Got a little slime block there to break up all, even though we've got um, water. Little AFK room. I'll explain about these hoppers in a second. And then we have the slime farm. So what I did, I decided to go for a style here with using the stained glass like I did for here. But instead of having it boring um, with stone underneath, I added slime blocks all the way underneath this there and it, lo it looks freaking awesome I think I think it does anyway uh, I'm not so sure on this section I haven't completed this bit yet or this section here but I like it I think this place is now done obviously apart from those sections over here and here this place works this place is awesome and the items go all the way up to the top once they are killed this is still working um, now I did have some issues here I would come down here occasionally and there'd be slime blocks on this block or slime balls on this block I'm not sure why it possibly to do with um, the items being too close together as they go as they go up and they pair together and they spaz out and come through the block. Um, but I put this hopper here, which leads down uh, into I think oh I can't jump up. It goes round down under there and straight into the hopper underneath the chest. Um, so that stops that from happening. So I haven't so I don't lose any balls. Uh, that sounds wrong. So I don't lose any slime balls. But yeah, this place is done. Apologies if I'm. A bit rusty with the commentating. I haven't done it in a in about a month. Uh, so yeah, and also apologies for my audio. My audio was a bit a bit tinny. Um, I think my mic was too far away from me when I was recording the uh, last couple of clips. But yeah, this is it done. I did I did also set myself the task to make all of that inside smooth stone. But I started on the back, and it, honestly, it was just taking too long, and I really did think it was it worth worth the, uh, the hassle and uh, decided no so I think I'm just going to leave all those those bits there I don't know I might do it in the future if I feel like it but I doubt I will but lighting in here looks nice uh, there are no dark spots even though this is all glass so it doesn't matter and half slabs but there are no dark spots for mobs to spawn so theoretically you could go AFK in this area I think this is light level yeah this is light level 5 but it's on glass so it doesn't matter um but yeah, so you could theoretically go AFK in here. I wouldn't trust it. Um, because, I don't know, sometimes Minecraft can be glitchy. So that's why I've made a little AFK room around the back. I don't really need to go AFK because... Ooh, zoomy, zoomy. Because of uh, my base upstairs. But yeah, this is it. It's done. It's freaking cool. Um, and yeah, this is the uh, 
Ooh, it's a bit laggy going up. There you go. That's the uh, minecart elevator. You just get out here, and we are done. So that's the slime farm done. Very happy with it. Pretty. That's my. This is the biggest project I've done on the server, and it is now my favourite. Uh, apart from the uh, Nether Hub, that was pretty big. But um, yeah, next step is the house. Of course, I uh, haven't done much work on that. I haven't done any work on that actually since um, last episode. But yeah, like I said, I am very busy with college work at the moment. I have deadlines coming up over the next few uh, next couple of weeks. Once my deadlines are out of the way, I'll be then focusing on uh, my exams because I have I take two uh, two courses which are only coursework based, and then one which is coursework and an exam. So um, the coursework deadline is always earlier than the, um, the exams. So um, the coursework deadlines are coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I'll be uh, sweating, sweating the coursework up until then. And then after my exam, I will hopefully try and get back into doing videos and things. Um, so yeah, I hope people don't mind. Um, also, thank you very much for those people if you are watching from the um, combat um, update video I did. That has gone down very well. Um, it's getting quite a few views, which I'm very happy with. So. Um, yeah, I really didn't, um, really didn't expect that actually uh, at all. Um, yeah, thank you very much for that. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, and hello, Mr. Zombie Villager. What are you doing? Snap you in the face. Snap you in the face. Actually, one more thing. I'm very excited to work on this garden area because this is all going to be a garden area. Uh, it's going to be very cool. That's, I don't know why I'm really excited about doing this. And this thing here, if you're wondering, it's going to be a lake. I was hoping. I was going to have like a little water pipe and it coming down. But yeah so I, I, that's actually what i'm very excited about we'll probably move in next episode don't know if i'll stick to that plan we'll move in next episode to the house if i get that finished off that might come out in two three f possibly four weeks i doubt if it'd be four weeks but that's a very 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 long time away look, uh, look, yeah long time away and uh, i'm gonna get killed yes yeah, a very long way away that's what i was looking for a very long way away but yeah thank you very much for watching sorry about the delay on this episode and sorry about the delay on episodes in the future but got to stand this time of year especially especially the server has become very inactive because of exams and finals and things uh, especially andrew i know andrew is very busy at the moment um but yeah hopefully once that's done i'll get back into the youtube swing uh, but yeah thank you very much for watching i hope you did enjoy this uh, very late video if you did enjoy leave a like and comment down below i'll make sure to reply and i will see you in my next video <laughs>